all right so in this module we are going to learn the dc analysis so earlier in the previous video i have given you the basic introduction of uh, cadence like how to instantiate various things and we have also designed one inverter so if i open the virtue so here so in today's video we'll try to uh, plot the vtc before that i'll tell you how we do simulation so this was a library which we have created zz and this was a, our schematic okay so if you haven't watched the previous video go and check it out it has useful information so from here i'll start so press f to fit this i'll change this in let's see i'll add some voltage source here okay connected with wire so previous video i've explained everything how these thing comes if you're not following just go and watch that Okay, so for reference, uh, I'm giving it 0 0.9 V divided by 2. All right. So check and save. No error, no warnings. To launch the uh, simulation, I click on ADEL. So we have we have ADE Excel also. I'll explain you in another video. This ADE Excel is more convenient, but here we are using ADEL for simulation. Okay. All right. So yeah, I'll set up the simulation. So for DC analysis, what I'll do? I'll First of all, I click on the analysis and from here I can choose the type of analysis. So I'm going to do DC analysis. Okay, save DC operating point. So for now, I just want you to show operating points on that schematic itself. So let's see how we can see that. So this is done just run it from this button netlist and run so it will create the netlist and run this so this thing is showing there is no error it is done okay so i just click on the result and a not a not eight so by using a not eight I can print these things on the schematic itself. So I want to see the DC operating points. Just click on this and here you go. These are the DC operating points. Okay. So the I is there, ID, VGS to source and here VGS for NMOS VTH so this VGS is 0.9 volt VTH is 0.36 volt VDS is 0.8 volt and similarly you can see for PMOS also so from here you can find out in which region it is working and one more thing here I would like to show you. Let me open the ADE. If you want to print, if you want to print a lot of things, like the gate capacitance, like the various capacitance of the MOS, 
in various other parameters like gm and all so how will you do that just go to the print same thing dc operating points you can do it for dc node voltage also and modal parameter also you can type it here so you'll see but first i will i want to show you a lot of dc operating points all the dc operating points like select this after that i need to select for which i want to see the dc operating point so suppose i want to select the nmos just click on this yes so this window pops up and this you can see cbb this is the capacitance this is the capacitance at body cbd capacitance between body and drain like that i want to see this cgs cgs is important so cgs is this much it is although it is giving negative value but it is uh, 161 femtofarad on that okay and after capacitance we have gm as well you can see okay it's 306 micro siemens GMBS. These currents are also their ID, which you can see here because we annotated this on the schematic itself. So various voltages are there. So that's how you can see a long list. Can can you open the ADL window? This time I want to see the uh, model parameters of the MOS. So what model parameter is just click on this okay so these are the model parameters you know so these parameters are defined in the model file of this so these parameters are written in the model files so for each parameter it is giving the value i am sure you have seen the model files till now in spice also we include model file for each technology node so again this junction cap and all so like this u is velocity similarly there are many parameters Okay, so that's how you print the VB parameter. Now I want to sweep. Now I want to print the VTC. So for VTC, at the output we have output, and at the input we have input. So input I need to sweep from zero to VDD. Okay, so this one I'll assume something. Let's click on this. Uh, just remove this. Click. Uh, okay. Okay. So DC voltage I am assuming X and after that I'll sweep this X. Okay. Check and save. Open the ADA window. So I'll modify this one. Okay. So now save DC voltage point. Okay, so I'll select the component parameter. So if I select this one and now if I'll see so it got selected itself okay parameter name DC and it's V2 alright now in this this time it's error free that v2 and the dc and i've set the start and stop point and i've given the number of points okay so simulation is done now i would like to plot the out so result you can go to direct plot main from select net on schematic so i want to plot this one so i'll select this one and if i want to add this on to that 
uh, simulation setup so i can check this out so add the output so now whenever i'll run the simulation it will generate this plot for me okay i click here so this is the vtc curve this is output voltage with respect to input voltage okay so now if i close this and i open my ade so you can see here it output this is saved so whenever i run this it will show me the plot like this So that's how we do the DC analysis. Another important thing I want to mention here. So before exiting, you can just save the state. Okay. So you just save the state. Because uh, next time, if you just load that state, you don't need to give all those things. It will come automatically if you just call this a state next time. So, so save as a state one. You can give it a specific name as well. So I do it, okay, and now I can exit. Okay, so let me show you that example. So click on ADE. So this setup is here. So now I load the state. Okay, so state one, that was the name of the state. So just click OK. So the state got loaded and according to that the plot is also there. So that's how you can save your time. Okay, so that's it in DC analysis. In next video will be uh, doing the transient analysis of this inverter. So thanks for watching.